All homeschool moms know that this is the only acceptable pencil. A toddler <laughs> went through all of my sticky notes. I'm even taking my purse off. Oh! <laughs> We are on our way to Walmart. Um, we are picking up school supplies. And I don't know why I'm a crazy person, so I said, let's do this on a Saturday. I was originally gonna go by myself, but then I was like, you know what? I wanna let the kids pick out their own stuff. So we are gonna all go, and we are gonna get all of our school supplies for the year. And when I get home, I will show you everything that we have picked out and how we are going to use it in our homeschool. But before we get into that, I should probably introduce myself. For those of you who are new, hi, my name okay. is Brittany. I am a first generation homeschooler and homemaker. Um, and I have four children. And on my channel, we do a lot of home related content, um, homeschooling, homemaking, gardening, chickens, all that stuff. So if any of that interests you, um, I hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing. And now on to the homeschool stuff. I'm even taking my purse off. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we are back from Walmart and it was absolutely bananas there. Um, it's just very busy. And then also three very boisterous children. Um, I have learned the problem with doing grocery pickup all the time is that my children are not used to being in a grocery store and it's very overstimulating. And then they end up bouncing off the walls by the time it's time to go. Um, and about halfway through, it was just, it was nonsense. So thankfully my husband was there and he took them away a little bit. All right, so I will flip around and I will show you what all we got and kind of explain what all is for. All right, some of this stuff is kind of self-explanatory. Um, so we have a big giant binder for my 14-year-old for all of his stuff. Um, I also got some two smaller binders because I found last year that we did have some papers that I just didn't know what to do with. Same thing with the folders. I let all the kids pick out their own folders. So I had to pick out my oldest because he is not here this weekend. Uh, Callum picked out a Minecraft folder. Kaylin picked out a pretty flowery folder. This one's for Mama. Evie wanted the puppy. And so Evie's doing some light preschool, and so I figure it can't hurt to have a folder for her too. So Kaylin's got a purple binder back here. Callum has a blue one. Um, I've got some more staples and some dividers for Callum and for Matthew since they have multiple subjects that they will be doing. Um, some more filler paper and then uh, glue sticks all of I, I buy this before I was buying big packs of glue sticks for our, our homeschool and then we never went through all of them so now I just have two glue sticks and we probably won't even use all of that we just really don't use a lot of glue sticks um, and nor I don't buy regular glue anymore because I don't hate myself um so um just a pack of ballpoint pens Evie is going to have the purple and Kaylin will have the pink scissors and then Callum is super excited because he gets the eight-year-old scissors even though he's seven he got the eight-year-old scissors and he was very excited about it. Um, I bought this uh, same exact book for Kaylin and it was just fun to have because sometimes little kids little preschoolers like to have a picture book and just a they like to have an activity that they get to do while the other kids are doing school and it doesn't have to be perfect it's just it gives them something to do and it's exposure at the same time this is for me for grading i um somebody one of those children that I've, i have has stole my other calculator like this and i prefer using just a regular desk calculator uh, i actually like the really big ones but this is what i found and so my other one is lost and probably broken so I got a new calculator. Uh, for Matthew, um, just a, an inexpensive scientific calculator since he's going into algebra. Um, I let them pick out their own spiral with the exception of Matthew because he wasn't here. I sent him a picture of one I thought he would like. He didn't respond, so he gets a plain one. So, Kaylin picked out this kitty cat one. Evelyn liked the rainbow. Callum liked the skateboarding spaceman. I've got some coloring books. These are mostly for um, church bags. Like this one's for a church bag. This is for Abby for um, her uh, box for school so that way she has stuff to do since um, she's still in nursery at church. 
Callum's church bag, and then this is also for Kaylin's church bag. But I figured I'd add them in. Ooh, out of the way. Um, every year I buy new watercolors for the little kids because they're just fun. And by the end of the year, they get absolutely disgusting and have to go in the trash. Callum has been wanting to start sketching because his brother sketches, so I got him a little sketchbook that he can do this year when his brother is doing his sketching, so that way he can join in. Um, some sheet protectors, and then the 35 cent uh, spirals. I buy like 10 of these, and they will all be gone by the end of this school year. Um, we use them for just randomly whenever they run out of their fun spirals. They'll grab one of these. I use them for church, for my notes. I use them for school, for home related stuff. And so we always have about 10 of those spirals. Some more highlighters. And then all of the coloring utensils. We've got crayons, we've got big markers, we got little markers, we got colored pencils. So we are set. Um, some sticky note cube, a sticky note cube because a toddler <laughs> went through all of my sticky notes. All homeschool moms know that this is the only acceptable pencil. All other pencils are not very good. These are the best. So we ended up not just getting homeschool stuff, but my sweet husband went through and calculated out what all wasn't homeschool stuff. Um, and so I actually have totals. I wasn't gonna have totals on this video, but I do. So all in, it was about $150. Um, and that's about how much I spend on school supplies every single year for my children. Um, it does slowly creep up as we add more children on, but not by that much because really it's not, it's like a couple of dollars. And so like last year was probably closer to 140 and now it's 150. So that is all I have for, um, our school supplies and I should have one more back to actually I should have two I will have two more back to school videos I'm gonna have a plan with me and then I am gonna have our read aloud slash morning afternoon basket thing that was very complicated um, those two videos the plan with me will probably come out next week and then the um, baskets and read alouds will come out probably the week after that or so we shall see so anyway if you like this video i hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing i do like i said in the beginning uh, a lot of home related stuff with that being said until next time bye